Hi, this is Mandy Morris, and this is my Instructional Materials Exhibition on Picture Books. Elizabeth Kennedy defines picture books as a book in which pictures are as important, or even more important, as the words in telling the story. Not only do they transport students to other worlds and stories, but they also allow them to practice comprehension skills develop a vocabulary, make connections, visualize, and become fluent readers. Young readers, especially those who can't read yet, often rely on visual cues when reading in order to un understand the story. Here are some selection criteria that I find important when choosing books to offer in a media center. As you can see, I have adapted these criteria from the book The Collection Program in Schools, Concepts and Practices, written by Kay Bishop. The selection criteria I have chosen not only reflects the physical aspects of books, but also the relationship of books to the curriculum and the audience of the school. I wanted to make sure that the picture books offered in the Media Center reflected diversity and exposed students to both sides of controversial issues. There are many sources and vendors available to not only purchase books from, but also to research which books are currently popular among readers. This list was devised from suggestions that the media specialist at my school, Allison Anderson, recommended to me. Allison recommended using Hornbook and CLCD to see what the latest trends in books are. In addition, the School Library Journal magazine gives reviews for newer titles and is very helpful. Another tip Allison gave me is to use the New York Times and Barnes & Noble to see what their bestsellers are. As far as purchasing books, Allison recommended Mackin, Barnes & Noble, and Follett Resources, or Tidal Wave, which is her personal favorite vendor. She stated that although they might not be a super fast delivery, they are always reliable when it comes to entering books into our software system. There are many instructional uses for picture books. Obviously, one of the most important things is to bring students a love of reading and to help them become lifelong readers. At Greater Atlanta Christian School, we utilize picture books for Accelerated Reader, which allows students to read various books and take comprehension quizzes on them. And we also offer many programs in the library periodically throughout the semester, like Reading A to Z, where students were challenged to read a book from e that started with each letter of the alphabet, and once they finished all 26 letters of the alphabet, they got a prize. They are also working currently on the Passport Club, which um, ch challenges them to read from certain genre genres of books, and once they have read from all five of those genres, they get stamped on their passport, and if they have a certain number of stamps at the end of the time period, they will win a prize in the library. Other resources that GAC uses are virtual books, which is super important now that there is so much technology in schools. Uh, three websites that we love to use are BookFlix, TumbleBooks, and RazKids. Not only are these virtual books that allow students to practice reading and look at the pictures, but these are also very cool because they can read the book to the student. So even if you have a child that cannot read yet, you can still expose them to online virtual books. One personal recommendation that I would make is utilizing the site Bibliomavium. It's a social networking site where students can post and review what books they're reading or have read. Nowadays, social media is super popular, so I think this is something that kids could really get into and they can enjoy seeing what others have to say and enjoy telling people what they have to say. It will allow them to give suggestions to students about what they might like to read. And I also think that this would be a great source for the media specialist to check to see which books are popular among the students in her school. That's all for my instructional material exhibition on picture books. Thanks for watching and happy reading.